We just dropped in here at Cascade and we're gonna target perch for the most part today because this place is famous for big slab perch, like true giants come out of this lake. And if you know anything about yellow perch, you know that this is the place to catch them. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop back here. Um, I was told that they're between 15 and 25 feet deep. So I'm gonna get to that depth uh, and I'm gonna start setting up my equipment. I'm gonna get the Altera connected to the Humminbird, the Humminbird all connected to the cannons. And we're gonna try bottom tracking for yellow perch. That's what we're gonna start out doing. So. Stay tuned. I'm run, gonna run a little spinning glow setup with a worm uh, and keep it about five feet off the bottom and just kind of run that thing at about 1.5, 1.7 miles an hour. Make sure that this is zeroed when you start because it's very important that you're on with your bottom track. You clip this down to bottom tracking, you hit the over button, but I'm gonna make it, I want it to go to three feet, two feet on this flat over here. And then I'm gonna send it up to start. Here we go. Deploy, make sure, you wanna make sure that your drag is pretty loose for this. That's why I use a long, like a pretty limber rod because you can see everything that's going on. So that one's gonna be set. We're watching that one. Only way that you could fish the technique that we're doing up here, that we're doing today is with bottom tracking feature on your downriggers and good electronics. You can see here, these fish are all sitting on this edge and you can see it's a steep edge. So if you were, if you were trying to run the downriggers by hand and watch what you're doing, you'd be running that ball into the side of, into the mud all day getting snagged up. So with the bottom tracking feature on, it's doing the work for you. And I can sit here and I can run this contour. It, it's a small margin of error here of what you know what you can get away with. But these fish are literally right where it drops off. That's where they're all hanging. It's the only place we can find fish. Bam! My, co my little black co-host is excited for me. Huh. Alright, let's see what we got here. Look at that size of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. Dude, look at the size of this perch. It is huge. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that thing. We're working along here and uh, we've been going through a couple things. So, the cannon bottom tracking is key. Um, we're keeping this in the strike zone. So, we're running a, a worm rig, a little spin and glow rig. Uh, I've got with this chartreuse and orange, and I went with a two foot offset. So it's the ball is going to be two feet off the bottom all the time. This is floating up a little bit, and I think what the key was that we slowed it down a little bit. So we went to a one mile an hour, like 0.9 to one miles an hour, and that we're just keeping that thing right off the bottom. So there you go, Let's see if it keeps going. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. So we're, so we're working through here, kind of figuring out a few things, and um, we're utilizing the bottom track. We're doing a two foot offset and the spin glow rigs with a worm on there seems to be doing the trick. They're a beautiful fish too, look at them. Those colors on there. 